welcome to my channel and today in this video i am going to show you one cool little widget which is available with filament called the stat widget now just imagine you want to show certain counts or you know, small little widgets showing the total revenue or you know, page views stuff like that right on your dashboard then this component helps you do that very easily they are beautiful and they are easy to set up and that's what we are going to look at so let me create a new widget php artisan make filament widget let's name it uh, student maybe dashboard slash student counter count and it will be a stats overview flag that I will pass so I will get a specific kind of a widget so let me run this it says that the resource is optional and I will not create that resource linking and inside my filament I get a new folder called widgets and inside widget I have dashboard and then the student count this widget will be able to show certain kinds of stuff over here for example let me do a card make and call it student count so what is going to happen here i think i got the wrong card no what does it say too few argument to function passed one and exactly two expected okay so student count and obviously I need to find, send the value. So let me right now put this in place and refresh. And I can see this over here. I can add one more, maybe certificate count. And it is divided into two different widgets. And this is what you know is the power over here. Now, these widgets do live polling which means right now both of them are showing 10 and 10 right i can do something like um, student and there's a count method so i'll get that and maybe the certificate also is certificate count i hit save and now we come over here and the browser refreshes it because there is a poll going on okay if you want to disable that which can be a good thing because you know if you don't want these count queries to run every time there is a property called poll interval which you can set to null and then this polling will not happen and you'll have to refresh to see any kind of change that is possible so it can it basically takes any number from no one to any anything which will be in seconds uh, let me quickly check base widget poll 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 okay i am not getting it but what does it say it can be of type null or string oh yeah i didn't <laughs> i didn't really looked at that i'm sorry so if i now open the network tab can you see the HTTP call being made and what does it return it returns a response which says maybe another you know, dirty is false let me change something and then see what happens over here maybe I'll do just value change and let's see if we find something over here no it doesn't we will have to change the number and let's see now in here can you see the html has changed and that basically means it will override that particular value i'm just trying to see if i can show you the number which is there yeah never mind but yeah as you can see you know this is different from this particular widget the html is null which means it doesn't do anything but if i change that it will work in that particular way but I'll keep it null and let's get back our certificate 
count back in place refresh and we are here okay this is done now this widget is fine i mean it looks okay but there are a lot of things which we can do additionally on it for example a bare minimum thing which i can add is okay i'll just add that description and it shows over here similarly i'll just copy that and add it right this is done now there is one more thing which is i'll just add over here description icon and in here we can add any hero icon so the hero icon format is hero icons dash hero icon yeah uh, oh that users i think this is what it was if it fails we'll get an error okay i got that so as you can see this description also shows that but what i will do is maybe there is something which i also want to show you uh, there is one more property called icon yeah and in here we'll do hero icon dash o and now let's refresh okay i got it wrong i think it's trending up otherwise i'll have to check the hero icons documentation yes it is trending up so as you can see now my student the title has a logo over here or not logo uh, an icon over here and same goes with the description the description can have a color as well just in case so i think description color and i can do success oops something is wrong okay this is get description it should be description color yeah this is fine so you can do a get description color and see the value or you can even pass a closures and stuff like that if you want to uh, which means you know if let's say it's a portfolio kind of an application where you want to show that you know everything is green you can conditionally do that but then one very interesting thing which is still pending is a property called chart okay and here what i can do is for example 10 then maybe 3 uh, 12 1 like though like so and if i refresh can you see this beautiful graph coming over here right this is the beauty of you know using filament because you get so many things out of the box you know, it would have taken so much time to get this thing you know implement a library javascript library understand it but with filament just send the data right and, and you are done but the only thing is if i can make this green as well i'm just looking into this maybe i will do color success as well and yeah that takes care of the chart as well so now that you understand this is the power of using these you know stat cards stats overview kind of you know widget which you can sprinkle around in your dashboard or on your application and you know it will give you so much flexibility and one, one last thing i think you know this is something which will be useful for you to know which is there is a thing called extra attributes where you can do something like cursor is hmm, no it is going to be class which is the attribute and we will have cursor pointer i'll tell you why i'm doing this right now can you see this is a normal mouse arrow and now it's that hand kind of a thing why because you will be able to add anything to the widget as attributes by using this array for example even you can do wire click something over here let me see if i can do some javascript I, I haven't tried this one but yeah worth trying oops unable to call component method alert not found right i think it has to be what i, I forgot the syntax maybe it's javascript something like that nah 
anyways you get the point right we we can uh, maybe on i'll have to do on click because this is a wire click which will actually look for that particular method but yeah you that is possible you can add anything and the data even like data attributes and you should be fine with that particular thing so yeah that's about it guys that's how you can use this widget to create beautiful looking dashboards with widget, with counters and stuff like that some counters can be auto polling as well so you get the power of you know dynamic dashboards as well and that's what i wanted to show you in this video if you like this video do click on the thumbs up icon and don't forget to subscribe to my channel